What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Coach Anderson here. Hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tackle a seemingly easy proportion question, but as long as you follow the main idea, you won't get tricked by how this question is set up. Also in this video, I'm going to show you guys something that I've got working on in the background for those of you in my program. So those of you guys that are in the program, you know that I'm helping you track your progress every single step of the way. Now it's about to get to the next level. It's going to get even crazier than it has been before. Here's how. Basically, an issue that every and any student faces is always, hey, how do I know when I'm ready to go in? Like, even if I have the best resources, how am I supposed to know when I'm good? And that's what we're doing here. You already get progress reports every week. You can already track your progress on the website every single step of the way for the map. Now what I'm building is I'm going to be building customized progress reports that are basically going to show you in visual terms how far along you are. If you've skipped anything, you need to go back. Any suggestions for retaking any tests to make sure you score higher. All of it, and it's going to look something like this. Here's a little baby form right there. It's going to look something like that, but when it gets to you in your email inbox every single week, it's going to be much more detailed. I'm going to be pointing out things you should be going back and redoing, congratulating you. I'm also going to be showing you, like I showed you here in this picture, your average number of stars per unit checkpoint. That way, if you see that you're at a four star rating or above, you're good, man. Keep up the great work. If you're around a three or below, you may want to consider redoing some of these assignments. That way we can prove that we're ready to go. So I hope you guys are really excited about this. I mean, the thousands of you who have been chiming in over the past couple of weeks about this has been really, really fun. Um, so I know you guys are excited. I'm just as excited for you. This is gonna be rolling out really, really, really soon. And for those of you that are not in the program and wanna raise your scores the right way with support all the way until you pass, then join the program. I'm currently hosting the July 4th holiday sale. It's still going on, it ends soon. So make sure you sign up now as soon as you can to raise your score. So let's go ahead, let's dive on into this question and let's see how to get it done. Over here, first things first, read the question and it's gonna say, hey, how many total crayons are there? Bam, flat out, that's what we're looking for. Write that down. We want blank total crayons. Now, one thing that I noticed immediately in that same question sentence was this. If, and again, the word if always tells you that what we're about to say this information's connected. So it's a big, big, big hint that you want to really pay attention to. So it says, if there are 14 green crayons, how many total? So we're looking for total, but we know that it's connected to the number of green, 14 green. Now, why did I do that? Well, watch this. Again, this is going to be a proportion question. If you're in my program, that's unit two, proportion word problems. But what you're going to see is this. You know that with proportions, you're supposed to compare the same things in the same way. And I noticed right here that we have one green crayons, then it says for every, and it says six blue crayons. Obviously it should say crayon, so let's go ahead and push that out of the way. But we're looking now and we see that it says, hey, one green crayon, so one green, six blue. Now, if we wanted to make a proportion, we would not be able to do so successfully yet because we're not comparing the same things in the same way. You may be looking at this and you may be saying, oh, we have green here, but green here. Coach, all we gotta do is swap it out. Yeah, and you'd be partially correct. You'd be partially right, because now we're comparing green and green, and they're in the same places, and that's awesome. But what isn't awesome is right here. Here, we're comparing total to green. Here, we're comparing blue to green. That's a big problem. We don't want that problem. The way that we're gonna fix this is by making sure that we, again, compare the same things in the same way. Always make sure you do that. How we're gonna do it here is by making sure that we adjust this to match this. We're looking for total, so I'm gonna keep that there. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say that, hey, look, if I have six blue and I have one green, well, what's the total going to be? What does total mean? Add it all up, right? That's what total means. So right there, my party people, we're going to add these together, and that's going to be seven total. And that's what we're going to be putting here 
instead of six blue. Again, it's all about comparing the same things in the same way. And I'm sure that if you're watching this video, you've seen a question like this and you possibly have gotten tripped. I don't want that to happen. So now that we have set this up, total to green, total to green, we're good. We're gonna set up our proportion and have ourselves a good day knowing that our answer is gonna be instant. So we have T to 14, and that's gonna be compared to in the proportion seven to one. Booyah, and there we are. So you can try to use a little bit of mental math here. You might be able to tell that, hey, if we go one to seven, that's times seven. So 14 times seven, that's gonna be our answer. And if you do that, that might give you 98, and that'll be the answer. Or if you wanna just go ahead and cross multiply, that's the easiest way, because you'll see either way, you're gonna be multiplying 14 times seven. And 14 times seven, if we do this right next to my big old head, four times seven is eight, that's gonna be 28. One times seven is seven, carry the two is nine. So we have 98 total marbles right there, and that's answer choice B. So look, again, I'm a part of people, practicing proportions, systems of equations, solving regular equations, geometry, all of it is there set up for you in the program. So if you wanna raise your score and get the job you want, go ahead, shoot me a text. There's my phone number right there. It's text only, 567-698-8867, or go to duranlearning.com to sign up for the program, safe big, and get that job you want. With that said, I love you guys. Can't wait to keep helping you raise your score, and I'll see you next time. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.